You may have gotten your golden retriever to be the perfect family pet, but to have that perfect family pet, you may need to burn off a little energy. In this video, you're going to meet instructor Wendy and her golden retriever named Gypsy, and they're going to show us how to teach your golden retriever to fetch. I'm Ken Steep, and this is Gypsy. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. In this facility, we've helped more than 90,000 dog owners to overcome their dog training challenges. So if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that I can help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member. So Wendy, tell me a little bit about introducing Gypsy to retrieving. Now, we've, you may have seen Gypsy on the channel before and we showed a little bit of retrieving, but being a, re a golden retriever, it's such an important part of uh, you know working with them, having fun with your retriever to do some retriever training. So how did it all start with Gypsy? So when she was just a little puppy, about eight weeks old, I right away started with a little soft toy and I would teach her a little bit of tugging and then I would just toss the toy a little bit and really praise her for bringing it back and we would tug again and then eventually I'd get my tosses a little bit further. Okay. I noticed that um, when we were just working this just before uh, we sat down to uh, talk to the camera, um, you were using your voice, using motion. You're, you're really being really encouraging because, you know, puppies can get easily distracted and it's so important that we do maintain some of that focus. Oh, very easy. I would do it like in the hallway so there wasn't much, a lot of places that she could go. She would be standing right there with me. I got all the other distractions out of the way. Yeah, the other thing I noticed is that you had her on a line. And I know in, maybe in our other video, had the toy on the line so that you have a little bit more control. Talk about why that's important or why you do that. Well, because when I do toss the toy, I wanna to make sure that she's bringing it back to me. I don't want her to take the toy and run away or just sit there and chew out. I wanna really encourage her to come back to me. And then with the line on, I can help her come back. Yeah, what about some of our viewers who might be watching saying, you know, my golden doesn't really love toys and I'm not sure why. What can they do to get their dog a little bit more engaged with the uh, act of playing fetch? Um, a lot of it depends on the toy too. I got, you know, like a real soft, squishy toy, sometimes a little squeaker in it makes them a little bit more exciting. Mm -hmm. um, really hard rope toys. Some dogs really don't like that at first. Their mouths are sore and you know, you just want something really soft and engaging that they'll be interested. So try different things. And yeah, I love that idea to, to try different things because uh, every dog, you, maybe a squeak toy is the solution and then you can work okay. your way off of something like that. Great idea. Now we've got our dogs at home uh, retrieving the toy on a line, you know, maybe a six foot leash or maybe they're working at 10 feet. What's the next step? When, when, does, when do our uh, uh, retriever owners know that they can uh, make things a little more challenging for their dog? Um, if they're pretty reliable at coming right back to you, okay. then I would try the further distance and I would turn and run and really encourage them back. And if, you know, that's working great, you can, you know, add a little bit more distance, but if you find that they're starting to not come back to you, then I would go back and put the long line on again so I can make sure that they are coming right back to me. Yeah. But always make sure when they do come to me, I'm not taking that toy right away. Okay. I want to tug with them and have fun so it's, you know, with a lot of value coming right back to me, we can play. Yeah, I, I think that's such an important point. And you talked a little bit about uh, petting and praising um, uh, your dog when they're holding the toy. At this point, when you're working at this stage with a young dog and you're using a tug toy versus something like a bumper, which we'll talk about shortly, um, you can be really, you, a game of tug is a great way to build relationship and build value for the toy um, but as you move along as you progress in your training tugging becomes uh, you know less important to talk about that for just a minute the difference between training our young golden retrievers with a tug toy versus uh, a retrieve toy that's specific for retrieving well a tug toy they can tug I kind of hit them on the side we play along but when I'm actually working with the bumper I don't want her tugging on it I want her to bring it to me and hold it until I you know release her from okay. it so she learns the difference between you know a toy where we're just having fun and then their bumper when we're actually working and then you also have to teach them to release that toy right that you know they do have to release it back to you so we start with you know a little bit of tug and then I will tell her out and put a little bit of food on her nose and work that until eventually when I say out she spits it out right away at that point I could reward with food or a lot of times just giving them the toy right back is mm -hmm. reward enough. They love that, you know, out, she gives me the toy, then I give it right back and have her tug again. So we have our retriever um, dropping the toy reliably. What's next for their training? Well, because she is a retriever and I do retriever trials, I also wanted to introduce a bumper to her, which is a different texture than my soft toy. So then I bring the bumper in and we work on that in the house, just little tosses with that, make sure that she's bringing that back to me and holding it. Because like I said, again, different textures, mm -hmm. you know, I had to encourage her to help pick up the bumper. Yeah, and this is the point when you're using a bumper and specific to some of the retriever uh, trials and training that you do, we don't play the game of tug as much with the, no. the bumper? No, okay. with the bumper, I want her to bring it back to me and just hold it. 
but I don't want her to tug with, so she'll bring it back to me, and then I'll just praise her, pet her a lot, you know, good hold, good girl, yeah. and then I'll ask for that out command. So it feels like it's time to take the show on the road, uh, to go outside, because that's really where you're going to be playing retreat oh, with yes. your dog ultimately. So talk about that process, getting outside and uh, teaching your dog to fetch. So I would, even with the soft toy, I would, you know, go to different places, go outside, you know, go to a new location, you know, make sure that they can retrieve other places, because it's different picture when you go somewhere else and For sure. you know they may not want to do it so we work that and then we take the bumpers of course outside too mm -hmm. different weather too winter summer sure yeah it, it, outside can be so distracting and this is sometimes where the wheels fall off as you're teaching your golden retriever uh, or any dog to retrieve outside because there's so much so many um, distractions that might be out there so uh, as Wendy mentioned you might need to take a step back in your training. You know, you might need to do shorter retrieves. You might need to use that um, soft toy. You know, ultimately you're going to be retrieving that bumper outside, but maybe you need to get that high value tug toy outside to, uh, you know, uh, not be so worried about the distractions that are out there. And definitely a long line outside. Because, you know, you could toss the toy, they run and pick it up, and as they're running back, a leaf might blow by. Yeah. <laughs> they might all of a sudden find that a little bit more exciting. So. I, I think that tip is so important, and controlling the environment and con controlling your dog, um, because it's pretty self-rewarding. Once your dog picks up that toy, um, and if they like toys, they like to chew, it can just be a game of keep away. Yeah. You know, they'll just run around in circles <laughs> and have so much fun because they're, it's a stimulating environment. But having a line on them, and in some cases, having a line on that toy can be really, really helpful to, uh, you know, overcome some of those challenges. So we're at a point where our dog is retrieving really well. What about for our retriever owners who want to go to retriever trials? What's, how do they level up their training and start to teach their dog all the right um, steps? So at the retriever trials, also obviously they have to be sitting while the, you know, the bumpers are being thrown out. So I wanna make sure that I get her excited. So I maybe hold her collar while I'm throwing the bumper. I wait until it hits the ground before I release her, mm -hmm. and I work gradually like that. That she has to, that the bumper has to sit on the ground maybe for a few seconds before I release her. Okay. Eventually, I want her to sit there until I release her. Yeah, the and having that weight or having, uh, I'm sure there's a couple things that are happening. That restraint is probably pretty exciting for the dog. Oh yes. And but it's also teaching them to remain in position because. Let's talk about uh, ultimately your your expectation is that your dog will just remain in at your side like when you're if you're competing in retriever trials talk just a, for a moment about how that works. Yes, they have to sit at your side while they're actually use ducks not bumpers. Yep. <laughs> she has to sit at my side while they shoot the ducks out and then I have to sit she has to sit there until I give her an actual release command to go out and get it and then she has to bring it right back and swing into my side and sit there until I tell her to release it. Yeah, and uh, we do have a, a video on the channel that talks about moving into that get in position, which uh, might be helpful yes. for you guys um, as you're, sh uh, I'm gonna run some B-roll over this where it's showing where Wendy is bringing her dog into her side. We actually have a video on the channel that will help you out with that, so be sure to check that out. So once your dog's re retrieving re reliably, you wanna you know, challenge them, go to different places, maybe running through the water, running through longer grass, maybe have it go into the longer grass and they have to go in and find it. Oh, that'd be challenging. Yeah, yeah it's lots of challenges you can do with your retrievers. Yeah, and I really like that idea where we sort of build this solid foundation, uh, get your dog retrieving reliably, and then you make it a little bit more difficult. You know, it's fun as a trainer to find some of these places and to go, you know, discover some of these areas that might prove a challenge for your dog. It's a lot of fun to make it more difficult for them and then to see them to be successful and yes. to help them to be successful. Oh, yes. If you're a Golden Retriever puppy owner, be sure to check out that card right there where we talk about Gypsy's first week home. I hope this video helps you to get out and have some fun with your Golden Retriever. I want to thank instructor Wendy and I definitely want to thank Gypsy for showing off some of those Retriever talents. On that note, I'm Ken. Happy training. Bye for now.